What's going on guys? Today we are looking at the brand new game changer champion Justin Herbert. Okay, so here is Justin Herbert and this card is actually going to be pretty good and I'm very surprised that he's going to be a relevant quarterback in this game mainly because not only do Herbert cards usually have really bad releases uh, but also there's a lot of really good quarterbacks in the game and I think Herbert has a chance to maybe even be like one or two like he really could be that guy so they did give herbert the slinger three release we are going to go into practice mode so i can kind of show you guys what that looks like if you don't know what it is but slinger three is one of the better releases if not the best release in the game right now one of the most consistent releases in the game right now but he's also six foot six with 92 speed 90 acceleration obviously gonna have great accuracy stats across the board but also they gave him some pretty good ball carrier stats i mean 87 cod 88 trucking and stiff arm 88 carry 93 juke 92 break tackle it's all really nice on herbert but it's the abilities on this card that to me really set him apart so if you use the game changer upgrade token on justin herbert you can make a pretty nutty setup you're able to give him zero ap gunslinger 2 ap pass lead elite 1 ap protected or hot round master depending on your scheme and then also free fearless so that setup for just 3 ap getting gunslinger with slinger 3 is insane pass lead 2 ap either protector or hot route or even yeah conductor or threat detector uh you can kind of pick whatever you want honestly uh even does get dashing dead eye which i don't like that much no look dead eyes 1 ap so a bunch of yeah just nasty abilities even qb playmaker high point dead eye all these abilities for 1 ap here so you can kind of pick whatever you want to do with the card and then fearless i mean the cheap setups that this card that this card's able to get even fast break for 1 ap so also can really fit no matter what play style i mean i guess like he doesn't have 99 speed like mike vick but this ability setup is pretty insane so uh justin herbert let's see how the card plays let's hop into practice mode first and then we'll get into game number one all right here we go herbert with slinger three which let's see what it's all about and also of course he has the gunslinger and i feel like on a lot of dion or leon setups people don't even run the gunslinger that's how good slinger three is able to be but they give you zero ap gunslinger in so many slots that you'd be stupid literally not to run it like it's impossible not to run it and you see right there that is the reason why slinger three is so good that like deepish to like midish the deepish release is so buttery man it is literally ridiculous like look how fast that pass lead is right there i mean that is that is uh yeah slinger three debatably better than slinger one I, I think short to mid i like slinger one a little bit more but it's this deep release where to me slinger three easily takes the cake easily like that deep release is simply elite and real quick before we hop into the gameplay i have to remind you to hit that subscribe button we of course post daily madden 23 ultimate team content right here on this channel gameplays tier list and even live stream right here on this channel so of course if you are new here hit that subscribe button regardless i do appreciate you watching today's video let's get right back to the gameplay all right here we go we got game number one here with herbert and we're just gonna sling the rock man that's all we're gonna do with herbert there's nothing else we're gonna do this card's gonna play great i i know he is i mean there's really no way that he doesn't and i'm gonna be honest with you guys i don't even have a full 12 ap on offense right now i, I don't um that's how cheap you're able to use this herbert card for like i literally don't even have and that much ap on offense first play a nice little short completion to garrett wilson for a gain of four running cover three we can of course try a little verticals I wonder if he does end up staying in it but we can try we can try four verts um, when in doubt you just run stock four verts you know what i mean i just you gotta just tap into it sometimes uh and this might be man coverage actually so let's actually go with um i'll, I'll leave it like this and we get yeah carmichael's gonna be a dot for a touchdown probably carmichael gets right behind ramsey and doesn't get gets tripped up and we get tackled short we should be able to be in that scenario maybe i mean herbert should be able to do things like that obviously if you want to play more like this a guy like Baker, a guy like josh allen make a little bit more sense but uh let's see oh that guy's free off the edge i should have probably pitched that but no it's not we have oh really bad camera angle though and really bad pass lead we almost get in though down to one yard line do i think herbert can punch it though i don't like this up i don't like this front we're seeing he's got kenny clark there he's got some dogs up front but here we go get me in justin herbert rushing touchdown um i didn't really have to make any difficult throws we just had our short out light up on the fade route and uh, justin herbert does get in that was pretty easy uh hopefully we have some you know, maybe throw some corner routes or some more things like that on the next drive but you can just see the size the release uh the abilities and just keep in mind this is a three ap setup okay so who would i rather justin herbert edition you see the price you guys saw the abilities earlier and honestly where i'm putting herbert 
I mean, I'm having these problems in this game. I'm not sure. If, I probably put this after the first drive, but Herbert's missing a lot of throws. I don't know if it's him. I don't know if it's the game. I don't know what it is. But I've never experienced this at, I mean, it happens every once in a while, but at this rate that it's been happening this game, um, it's been a bit concerning. So if it isn't Herbert, this whole, you know, him missing passes issue, I don't know why it would even be a thing. I'm thinking maybe it's like his, like maybe Slinger 3 isn't supposed to be on a quarterback this tall. I don't know. I don't know what's, I don't know. I'm, I'm just thinking of things that might be the solution, but uh, I'm going to put him I'm gonna put him, I think. I'm gonna go Stabler over him. I'm gonna go Brady over him. I'm gonna go Vic over him. I'm gonna go Josh Allen over him. So I think Herbert ends up at about like number five ish. I think he's. I, I Is he better than Sandcastle? I mean, if you're running the ball more, I think Sandcastle makes more sense. He has better speed. But if you're playing more from the pocket, but even still, I think Herbert just gets better abilities in general. So I think Herbert comes in at that number five spot. That's where I'd put Justin Herbert. Um, yeah, but that release thing definitely i don't know you watch you're gonna watch the rest of the video and you tell me down in the comment section what you think but yeah let's get back to the gameplay all right motions over cmc oh he's got cmc wide open on that oh oh that oh wow something got glitched out i don't know what just happened right there but cmc was wide open and so was uh wow okay something i don't know what happened there but motion slant with Garrett Wilson and the reads are going to be Gronk or the flat. We'll see what he does. It was actually was the flat. Oh, never mind. I made a bad read. Oh my goodness. Oh my. It's going to be a pick. How is that going to be? How? How did Gronk? <laughs> it feels like heat's coming. It, it really wasn't any heat. We actually have G Dub wide open. G Dub up the seam and a nice gain right there. Okay. Like I always say, when in when in doubt, you run those stock verticals. We'll see. Actually, it would have been a. I think I was actually a quarterback read. I'm pretty sure. But again, like he, Herbert doesn't have that speed where he can really kill pursuit angles. They really have to dive on it. Like they really have to dive all over it or else you're just, it's just not going to work out for you. We actually had Gronk open unless Ramsey's going to peel off. Was that a pick? Bro, what is going on with like, that's, that's another good pass. <laughs> that's another good pass, but he just didn't animate at all for that. Okay. This is spinner or something like that um he's kind of playing off though so we actually should get cj open over the middle high balled it i pass let it back so we didn't uh you know throw the pick towards the user the user couldn't kind of peel back to it and that's a touchdown there we go yeah it was like a it was like an off coverage spinner which the, i think the whole point of spinner is being pressed up and like base aligned so like it's basically like throwing the line of scrimmage but yeah and also you know having fearless is nice for those scenarios as well okay never mind it's not going to be that i'm like i want to throw this ball to gronk it's a linebacker i'm throwing that all day there we go. Easy. Okay. Brian Cushing, you're not holding Gronk. And do I have Gronk again? I think I have Gronk again. Fearless again. Oh my God. No way. That's an interception. Dude, I feel like these are just like, I don't know. Is this me? I feel like that's open. I feel like, <laughs> I don't even feel like I just threw a pick on that. I feel like that's so open. How is that? Is this Herbert? Like, what's going on? I don't know what he's running here. I'm gonna actually put a zig on the backside, and maybe this one might, might be man-to-man -man coverage. It looks like he's aligned basically perfect. Um, we do get Gronk open. This might be an interception, though. At least we caught it. Wow, Gronk finally, dude. Wow, I I'm surprised that ball wasn't picked off. Blitzing, which is good to know. He Gronk's open. I'm taking my first down. Gronk's open. I'll take my first down. This guy's really not playing the flats like that. Again, he's taking away corner routes, or he's trying to, I think. All right, we're gonna go with the motion zig. A play that I don't run often, but I think we got to change it up a little bit. Let's see what he's doing. We actually have Gronk open again. Please don't be intercepted. Oh my God, dude. No, 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 no. All right, basically the same exact read. He should be in the flats now. And actually good defense by him. We're going to group in the pocket here with Herbert. We got a lot of grass. Let's go ahead and get down. Nice gain right there. So just having that capability is nice to have, obviously, with a quarterback. Three here. We actually should have G-Dub open again. And we get a nice ball there. I didn't even need to really highball that. Probably would have been a touchdown if I didn't but i'll take it we should have it go go get in get in no way bro i'd be very surprised if this is not a touchdown there's no way we don't score this right look at the alignment there's no way we don't score this <laughs> all right i will uh yeah yeah all right i'll see you boys in the next one man i don't even know oh my god <laughs>